Hello, everyone, and welcome to another wonderful episode of Genshin Impact, where we last left off. We have bid farewell to Rex Lapis, aka Zhang Li, as he tells us that the next continent we're going to is closed, which I'm gonna guess is uh, that over that way, because if you look on the map, it is the next area to go to, but it's all blotted out because of course we haven't gone there yet to unmap it so we now have to talk with Ning Guang because she talks about how she's going to be remaking the Jade Chamber we're gonna see what they're doing I'm curious what I have they're gathered playing. everyone here today to make an important announcement perhaps some of you will have heard <sighs> the news already I am in fact planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber Yay! We build the Jade Chamber? That's a huge project! I mean, she did it before, she'll do it again. You expect her not to do that? So the rumors are true. No wonder the price of building materials has gone up so much lately. <sighs> the Jade Chamber means a lot to Lady Ningguang. <sighs> Getting involved in this would be a huge opportunity. Lady Ningguang, is there any way we can be of service? Patience. Since the news made it out a few days ago, I have already had many people contacting me to declare an interest in joining the project. Nevertheless, I do have a few matters I should like to entrust to you here today. The building site has been chosen, and most of the materials have been assembled. Three key items are, however, still outstanding. They are as follows. <clears throat> Sunset Vermilionite, Wonder Cores, and Adepti Sigils. Uh, excuse my ignorance, Lady Ningguang. I, I'm familiar enough with Plostrite, but I've never even heard of those other two. Only sufficiently large pieces of Plostrite, or specifically Vermilionite, may earn themselves the Sunset moniker. This stone is what allows the Jade Chamber to float. Wonder Cores, meanwhile, are the central components of the mechanical structure of the Jade Chamber. Okay. Adepti sigils serve as a means of integrating the mechanical devices with Adepti art. They are as indispensable as the mechanical core itself. Although these three items are rare, I trust that with your connections and capabilities, Procuring them will not be a question of if, but of when. I take the saying, time is money, more seriously than most. Efficiency is everything. I will pay a generous price for the materials that you find. And in addition, the first three people who collect all the materials will have the opportunity to ask me a question. You may ask me anything, and I will give you an honest answer. I trust that this means of compensation will be to everyone's satisfaction. These things won't be easy to get hold of, but if it means a chance to get some inside information on Liuette Harbor's development plan for next year... Then it's the deal of a lifetime. Information from Lady Ningguang is priceless. Whoever gets to it first takes the market. Haha, <laughs> what a coincidence! I won't divulge too much, but I heard some murmurings about some plus strike just the other day. So excuse me all, but, um, I have some business to do. Oh, no. We'd better move quickly, or this opportunity will be snatched away from us. Ningguang's rebuilding the Jade Chamber? This is a huge deal! Let's get involved! I mean, I would have figured she'd want to rebuild it sooner or later. I didn't think we would involve ourselves, though. So you heard my announcement, did you? What do you think? Interested? Uh, can I really ask you anything at all? Yes. Providing the question pertains to something I am knowledgeable about. Well, that's true. Maybe she has seen your sister or heard rumors. Really? Then Paima will ask you about how to run a business! Of course you would. Then we'll never be short of Mora ever again! 
<laughs> of course. But how much information I share with you will depend on your performance. Okay. The construction of the Jade Chamber requires a great deal of space. The abandoned mine outside the Golden House has been selected as the building site. Once you have collected the materials, please take them there. If I even find them. I have other business to attend to now. Otherwise, I would gladly escort you to the site in person. When you do arrive, please seek out my secretary. Remember, this is a race against the clock. A rare opportunity presents itself to you. Do not let somebody else snatch it from your grasp. I'll try. She is very nice, though, to at least give me hints of, like, what I Come should on, do. we better get going. First, we gotta get out of Eugene Terrace. Uh, huh? Look! It seems like there's something kind of fishy going on over there. Ma'am, you seem like an eminent and distinguished young lady to me. I can see that you're easily gonna win this procurement contest Lady Dingwang has set up. As it happens... We have some information about the materials that I really think might interest you. Come on, let's find somewhere a little more private, and we can get down to brass tacks. No, I don't need it. Ah, uh, don't be like that. Hey, come on, don't go! Why don't you stand there after her? Oh, right, yeah. I don't like what those two are planning. <clears throat> the crane returns on the wind. Did you hear that? They said they had some useful information! Information's just what we need right now! Let's follow them and see what we can find out! Yeah, they also sound like they're about to do some harm to that woman. So how about instead of focusing on the information, we focus on helping the lady out. Then we can get the information after I beat the fuck out of their faces for it. Oh. Ah, children, come, come. <laughs> You've arrived at just the right moment. I've been looking for you. Uh, I mean, I was just about to help someone, but what do you need? Oh, no, no. You've done so much for Leo Harbor already. I could hardly ask for more. In fact, my old friends and I have been putting our heads together to think of what sort of gift we might give you in return. A gift? For Paimon? Yeah, I mean, I only did as I should, but... I mean, it's... up to you. <laughs> oh, child, you are so very modest. Uncommonly so, even. But you mustn't decline this gift. I simply won't allow it. I mean, I get it. It's, it's a gift from a god, which many people say, even in real life, it would be offensive to, like, deny a gift straight from a god itself. When you traversed my old teapot in search of the cleansing bell, I heard your little friend mention that you often camp out in the wilds. That simply won't do. Especially since I imagine you still have a very long journey ahead of you. Uh huh. Fortunately, I have not yet grown so old as to see my subspace creation abilities atrophy. Oh, did my friends never mention that to you? Well then, it is a blessing we old folks once received from Rex Lapis. Part of our illumination, if you will. Uh-huh. I will not go into too much detail, but subspace creation is the ability to create a small, autonomous pocket world. The teapot that you entered previously was a little trinket created using that ability. A trinket? So, in the eyes of an Adeptus, creating a magic teapot world is just child's play, huh? Oh, indeed, the teapot is nothing to boast of. One such as myself must depart from this realm to create a world of one's own. Rex Lapis, on the other hand, moved mountains and seas. 
That is what one might call an exercise of true power. Uh, but that's enough nostalgia for now. The gift that I have prepared for you just requires a few final materials to add the finishing touch. What are the missing materials? That's right! Finding stuff's what we're good at, after all! Seems like it. When it comes to fighting some of the strong enemies, though, I'm not the best at all. Oh, settle down now, children. There's no need for you to go running hither and thither. I have already found a fleet-footed youngster to prepare what I need. Hmm? What's more, I doubt that you would know how to find the materials I am searching for. Some of them are very rare indeed these days. And what are they? Well, for starters, I require some shimmer soil from the banks of Dihua Marsh. Back in the day, it could only be found where the glazed lilies thrived most profusely. You would have to dig downward, following the roots of the glazed lilies. And if you were lucky enough, you just might find a small patch of shimmer soil there. <sighs> but almost no one has been able to find shimmer soil in this manner since Dihua Marsh came to be the way it is today. Even more difficult to find is Smaragdus Jadeite, which must be chiseled from the rock of the chasm. Or so it used to be. Ever since the Black Cliff Forge opened for business, they've slowly but surely stripped the mines all but completely bare of it. In any case, Smaragdus Jadeite is an adept eye treasure, and the adeptal power within is not something that most humans can withstand. Extended contact with it is, in fact, harmful to humans. Hmm. Ah, goodness knows if that child will succeed in finding these items. Who's this child? Or are you talking about child the Fatui guy? Is that who you're hinting? Well, since you're an Adeptus, Granny, the person you asked for help... They must be an Adeptus too, right? Oh, if it's who I'm thinking of actually, and if it's another Adeptus, then that means it must be that guy that doesn't like talking with us. The one who gave us speed during the fight against the god. Hmm, yes. I suppose she does count as an Adeptus. Oh, okay, never mind. She said it's a she. She counts? How come there are so many Adepti in Leo Harbor? We seem to bump into them all the time. It feels like even when you go out to eat, you could be sitting next to an Adeptus and never even know it. Oh, <laughs> maybe so. Who can say? A fair few of my old friends are rather fond of mundane mortal life, after all. I'm back, Granny. Oh, I don't believe we've met. Ah, allow me to do the honors. This child here is Yen Fei. She's the one helping run some errands for me. Yen Fei, I believe you already heard of the Traveler and his traveling companion. Of course, who hasn't? Much has been written about you in the Millilith's records. You became one of Liyue's most wanted after the Millilith marked you as a suspect following the incident at the Rite of Dissension. After which, you fought off the Millilith at Julian Karst and made contact with the Fatui before finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any and all suspicion by the Chising. Ah, <sighs> what a shame. A shame? A shame that we didn't meet sooner. Oh. I thought I, I was actually questioning that myself, like, did you want me to still be suspicious? If we had, well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion immediately, but it certainly would have been less, uh, embarrassing for you. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal advisor. Got a legal problem? You can come right to me. Oh, yes, here's my business card. You'll find it has my contact details and office address. Keep it handy. If you have an urgent issue, just leave me a note at this address. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I offer a very generous discount for first-time customers. All right.
right, Yanfei, all right. Let's get to the business at hand. I do not think these two are in any dire need of legal assistance at the moment. You'll have to excuse Yanfei. She's always been like this, ever the talkative one when it comes to her own affairs. I mean, my character's questioning it, but I can kind of guess it from the the dragon-like horns that she has right there. Paimon was gonna ask the same question. You seem really different from the ones we've met before. An Adeptus? Uh, I guess. Kinda. My old man said he was one anyway. He mentioned that he once campaigned with Rex Lapis for a long old time, and then after that was all over, he went back and married my mom. They had me, and once I was all grown up, the two of them upped and left on a journey, leaving me with Granny here. Well, that's a bit casual for an Adeptus. Aren't you guys supposed to <clears throat> sign solemn contracts to protect Leo at Harbor and all that stuff? What do you mean he just went back to get married? Well, my dad did say that he'd talked it through with Rex Lapis and that he was fine with it. Even contributed towards the wedding gift, apparently. Anyway, <clears throat> let's not dwell on that too much. So, Granny... I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you asked for, except for Smaragdus Jadeite. I couldn't find any at all. The chasm's been sealed off, and there's just no way in. Couldn't secure any documentation either. <sighs> Looks like the Ministry of Civil Affairs is serious about keeping it strictly locked down. Something tells me I'm gonna have to go down there. Is that so? <clears throat> hmm. But Smaragdus Jadeite is really rather essential. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? They have helped Liu greatly, after all. It is only right that they are duly rewarded. I know, Granny, you've told me a thousand times already. Well, the chasm's definitely a no-go, but there's still a chance we can figure out some alternative means of procurement. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Let me have a look. Cool book. I like that it has black pages. Whoa, that's a really thick book. What kind of things do you write in there? Commercial consultancy. Or, or, Snezhnaya. Ah, found him. Krussel. A Snezhnayan merchant who once came to me with some legal queries on certain articles in the legal codices. If my memory serves, all of them had to do with rare ores. He mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins, and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications that he should be aware of. Said he was planning to sell them in Snezhnaya. So, I guess I'll go look for him. With any luck, he'll have gotten his hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite, or might have an idea of where we can find some. I guess I have to say it for my character. We'll come with you. Oh, you want to join me? I suppose that's no problem, but it's best if you just stand by and watch. If you try to get involved, you'll only risk placing yourself in legal jeopardy. Wow, an Adeptus imploring us to avoid incurring legal liability. Well, that's a first for sure. But best we be a little more careful than usual while we're with her. Oh, and it's literally right down these steps. Okay, and over. And there's the woman being pursued by those creepy guys. Hello, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> well, will you look at that, ma'am? Nowhere left to run. Don't worry, we're not bad guys. You give us some mora, we give you a little info. Everybody's a winner. Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the, the energy she gives off. I, I'm telling you, there, there's something different about her. So what? She's loaded. How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we just let money walk away from us, huh? I've already told you. I don't need your information. <sighs> if you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a way that won't be so easy to forget. Ah, uh, come on, ma'am. You seem like an intelligent lady. I shouldn't have to spell this out to you. 
It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's about you taking out your money and handing it over and nobody getting hurt. I won't... No more excuses! <sighs> I know you have money. I saw you. I just saw that Millilith right there. It's like, how does he not hear this conversation being that he is now yelling at the woman? Like, Millilith guy, hello? Woman being harassed here for money? Help! Yeah, I saw you. Strolling into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full of food, and only taking a few bites. Then she knew a kiosk, then Wan Mean Restaurant. Same story each time. You order all the signature dishes, take a few bites, then you're on your way again. How could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich, what's the loss to you in giving us a little spare change, huh? <sighs> Master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in Liyue Harbor. <sighs> but here we are. Hmm. Perhaps... Uh, yes. Let's call it fate. Boss, I'm telling you something's not right. What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. We'll sue oh, her good. for everything she's worth. There they are. Oh, you again. The Millilith. What, what, what are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? <clears throat> you ought to mind your own business. I swear. Silence. How dare you threaten innocent civilians? You're coming with us. <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 don't be angry, sir. P p p please, let me explain. Ha! <sighs> Are you all right? Shen He. Huh? Shen He? My name. Oh. Nice to meet you, Shen He. Oh, so your name's Shen He. Paimon's name is, well, Paimon, and this is Paimon's travel buddy. Oh, I've heard about you two before. <sighs> Thank you for helping to defuse the situation. You're welcome. At least you didn't have to disobey your, what your master said about laying your hands on anyone, so you're welcome. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. I suspect smashing his head against the ground a handful of times is all it would have taken to get him to surrender. <laughs> you, you can't do that! That's way too violent! This is Lila Harbor! There are laws against that kind of stuff, you know! Laws? Have you not heard of the law, Shinha? <sighs> no. Apparently not. Really? My character is questioning it, but I already can tell that's her stomach. That would be my stomach growling. Hmm, I haven't eaten enough. Well, they did say that you were only taking a few bites. Maybe you should have actually finished the meals you ordered? She's so honest. Wait, that's right! They said you went around all the restaurants ordering this and that and the other, but only took a small bite of each dish. Then of course you're still hungry! So, anything in particular you're hungry for? Hmm, Chingson, Glaze Lily, Violet Grass. These are my usuals. Um, you eat medicinal herbs? Hmm, medicinal herbs? Kinda hard to explain. Anyway, Boo Boo Pharmacy's not far away. Let's take Shenha there for a big medicinal meal. After all, you can't work on an empty stomach. We're literally taking her. Do you think Shenha might be an adeptus? It seems like it's her first time in Liyue Harbor, and she doesn't seem to get how things work here. If she is an adeptus, that would explain everything. Where does she fit in with the other Adepti, though? Hmm... Paimon's super curious. 
I don't know about that, but I do find it odd that she eats medicine for food. Are you here to buy some herbs? I do hope you brought your prescription. Chingsen, glaze lily, and violet grass, please. Half a pound of each. What kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> oh, here you go. That's everything we have in stock. Thank you. She's really eating them! <sighs> My hunger has now abated. <laughs> Thank you. Are they really that good? Hmm. Rather awful. So why did you order it to eat? <sighs> Though they were not completely devoid of sweet fragrance, after consuming a large quantity of them, bitterness is all that remains. So, how come you chow down on these and barely touch the restaurant food? If Paimon had enough, Mora, Paimon would go to the fanciest restaurant in town and order a whole table of food and eat it all in one go! Because I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious, but should I return to the mountains, yearning for the food here shall only pose an obstacle to my continued spiritual development. Okay. Sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. Return to the mountains? That proves it! Paimon knew she was an adeptus! Mm, enough about me. What are your plans from here? Oh, right! Paimon almost forgot! We came out to take part in the Rebuild the Jade Chamber competition! And... And now we're probably super behind because we've been held up for so long. Hmm, I see. I heard something about the contest when I was passing by. <laughs> yep! You get to ask Ningguang any question you want if you win! Were you interested in the contest too, Shen Hmm, I came for the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber, but until this point I had no intention of joining a contest. However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would now like to lend you my assistance. Oh, don't worry. I ask for nothing in return. Okay. Wow! You really don't have to! But having an Adeptus help out will make things a whole lot easier, so... We welcome you to our team. Then let's not delay. I have a plan. Okay. Great! Paimon bets this is gonna be the awesomest plan ever! Mm, I am not sure whether or to what extent this plan can be classified as awesome. I do, however, believe it will be highly effective. Okay. We simply need to dispose of everyone who is currently ahead of us. Then, we alone shall become the victors. Did you hit your head? You're sounding like you want us to commit murder. Vito! That is not acceptable! Not by a long shot! Really? But I hear that competition is in essence about conflict and one-upmanship. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you kill people! You don't take care of them or anything like that. You just work hard to try and get ahead. You don't actually try to, like, make them unable to continue on or continue living. Look, we want to win this competition fair and square, okay? Sunset Vermilion Night, Wonder Chorus, and Adepti Sigils. Let's start at the top of the list and work down. So, for Plastrite... I was wondering who I could hear arguing over there. So, it's you. Hey, it's that guy again. Hello. Bye, Hugh. What are you doing out here? I still hope he becomes a playable character sooner or later, because I want them to add in a nature element character. And he looks really cool. I would love to play as him. I'm so curious what his abilities would be. Lady Ningguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. We're running low at the store, so I came out to fetch the ingredients personally. Huh? How can Lady 
Wong needs so much one dressing all of a sudden. I'm not too sure. I did hear she's looking to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Maybe for its first aid on site? I didn't ask, though. Far be it from me to pry into my customer's personal affairs. Oh, and she also borrowed Chi-Chi. Meaning Boo Boo Pharmacy is very short-handed right now. I don't suppose any of you are looking for part-time work by any chance? No, no. We've got other stuff to do. Um, while you're here, though, you seem to know a lot. Have you ever heard of something called Sunset Vermilion Night? Ah, the variety of plostrite used in the Jade Chamber, yes? There is some mention of it in the Seven Mountain Treatises. When activated, Sunset Vermilionite rises up all the way into the clouds. It's very rare indeed. Hmm. As far as the records show, virtually all Sunset Vermilionite in existence has been mined and taken possession of. But the Feiyun Commerce Guild would know far more about this than I do. Okay then, let's go ask at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Thanks, Baiju. You're quite welcome. Good luck to you all. And if there's anything further you need from me, just come to the Boo Boo Pharmacy. I'd like you to be a playable character. Does that count? Uh, so wait. What about the one that we also had to go with the other girl for? Is that like a separate thing now? Hmm. Oh yeah, right here. Teapot to call home. Okay. I guess if anything, I should like get this one done quick. There's a few things here. These are all like side war quests, but this one looks like it's really important because it gives me a, ser a serene teapot? A teapot obtained from Madame Ping? There seems to be a whole new realm within it? Oh, I get my own pocket world? Oh, yes, I want to do this. You know what? Uh, next episode, we're actually going to finish a teapot to call home. So oh, that way I can uh, get this teapot. And then in the future episodes... We'll continue um, the Archon quest, because I would like to get this teapot, because I'm rather curious about this right here. Because this talks about having, like, a workshop and all that, and I'm curious if that means I'm able to actually, like, smelt and all that on the go. So, next episode, we're going to continue the uh, quest, A Teapot to Call Home. And we are going to see about... <sighs> Uh, getting that finished before we do the Archon quest. So, hope you guys are looking forward to that. I'm actually looking forward to it because I want to try this out so badly now that I see it. So, uh, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a like to help support the channel. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell for you new viewers out there so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto the channel. And as always, I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care, have a wonderful, safe, and healthy day. Bye, everyone! It's delicious. <laughs>